Hello and welcome. Well, let's finish up this drill press. I'm going to restore the tag that goes right here, put the drive on, make some modifications to the drive, uh, fix a couple of these handles here. Uh, the handles may, may be another video. It's going to be fairly involved, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get started. Let's start with this tag here. I had the drill press tipped over while I was working trying to get that column removed and scuffed it with a 2x4. That, the tag was laying on a 2x4. I thought, well, that, that patina in the background looks pretty good. Let's see if we can clean it up like the 2x4 did. Then I'll put some clear over the top and it'll make it, make it look old and nice looking, I hope. This is a 600 grit. 800 grit. I was hoping it wouldn't take the background. It, it is a little bit. That's always a problem, even painting. It's, I've done them before where I use paint in the background and it's really difficult not to take the background. Just not enough relief on the letters. That's looking okay though. I think I maybe better leave well enough alone. Okay, I want to uh, clean up this metal a little bit and round some of the corners. And I got to uh, see that slaughtered hole right there. I want to slot this one too. That'll give me a little bit of lateral adjustment. And what that'll do. Right now, when I make an adjustment, if I want to speed it up, it's difficult to turn. But if I slow it down, it's real easy. And that has to do with a lateral adjustment this way. And what it's doing now, the cam follower there is holding the puck in position. Uh, ideally, the cam follower should do very little except move it.
Yeah, it looks okay. I may redo it at some point, but it looks pretty good. Looks old. Here we go. Yeah, let's wire up this power switch. It's got a super heavy duty power switch. And it's three phase. It was originally three phase. Check that out. I'm going to have to go out and buy a different power cord. This one's just temporary. Get one that's black. Let's see if it works. Cool. Yeah, I, need, I still need to come up with a, a knob on that. I'm going to try to repair both of these knobs. The end's broken off. This table works pretty nice. For now, I'm just using the wrench. Okay, it's got a little bit of run out. Some of it's slop. That bearing in there. I may address that at some point. Not super worried about it, but quite a bit of slop. It's just a steel sleeve. I'd have to bore it out and put a uh, bushing in there, and I'm not sure if there's enough steel on there to do that, but there probably is. Let's give it a try. Drill something takes a little bit of torque. Okay, this is just over 5 eighths. See what it'll do. It's definitely got a wobble to it, but I call that a success. Okay, several viewers 
said I should put a scale here with a pointer. And I already planned on doing that anyway. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, we're going to save that for next week along with these knobs. Uh, but I'll have to take a tachometer to the chuck and find out exactly where each speed changes and then I'll get a little plaque made and we'll screw that to it and put a little brass indicator on there. I think that'll look cool. Anyway, that about wraps it up for today. I'm overall pleased with it. Join me next week, we'll fix these knobs. It's going to be kind of a trick to do. Might have to build a uh, ball turner for my lathe to do that. And we'll put a scale up here, speed scale. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.